Hello everyone, this Man United inside again on it, welcome back, Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag addressed the media at Carrington, ahead of our Premier League meeting with Luton Town at Old Trafford on Saturday afternoon, 1500 hours Greenwich mean time kickoff. United are bidding to bounce back following our Champions League defeat to FC Copenhagen in midweek, while the Hatters are relishing facing the Reds for the first time in the league since 1992. Rob Edwards' side drew 1-1 with Liverpool last time out and Eric admits he is aware there are no easy games in the Premier League, as we look to return to winning ways at the Theatre of Dreams. Scroll down to read and watch everything the boss had to say, including lines on Marcus Rashford, Johnny Evans and Mason Mount, hi Eric, obviously there were extenuating circumstances but you did lose the game on Wednesday and that's 9 defeats now, in 2023-24. Is it acceptable for Manchester United to be losing so many games so early in the season? It is all about the end result. We have to win games, so we are very disappointed when we lose any game. But, finally it is about the end result. It is about being in a process, thinking about the process and then it is about managing that process. This is only what I focus on, do you trust this group of players? You were two goals up and coasting and then something not great happened and then focus seemed to be lost. That is not the first time that has happened this season and if you can't overcome bad things in games, you won't get anywhere, I think we often have proved we can, like at Fulham. Like against Brentford. This team can overcome big setbacks, I just wanted to ask about Marcus Rashford. How has he been after the red card and are you happy with his form at the moment? I think he is not happy, we are not happy, but that is because we have an expectation. He has high expectations from himself and in this moment, he is not in the best form. I know he will be back and I know when the team is playing better, he will be playing better. He will go and score goals, I am confident on that. Also this season, he will improve and he will score goals. He is totally in the team and he is totally aware of everything. He will be back on track soon, how confident are you that we will see the best of Marcus Rashford soon, it can happen very quickly. Sometimes you only need one game. I am sure that he will get there. Eric I am sure you will have seen the point Luton got against Liverpool last week in a big performance from them. What have you made of them as they try to find their feet in the Premier League? I think they have had some more good performances and results, so we are fully aware of that. In the Premier League there are no easy games and you have to play at your best and your highest levels in every game. So we are fully aware of it and we have to be 100% fully focused on it in the game to win that game, can I just ask? Johnny Evans Obviously came off in that game against Copenhagen. How is he and what are his chances for the game and also for Northern Ireland next week? We don't have, in this moment, a full assessment done. So we didn't finish it and we don't have all the details so far. But for tomorrow he is out, and for next week, do you know? I can't say this because we haven't fully finished the assessment. Hi Eric, with Mason Mount we have seen him play as a number 8, a number 10 and off the right, but so far he has not made any impressive impact. What was your expectation upon signing him and has it changed a little bit now? No, it hasn't changed at all. He started the season and then he got injured. That is the worst moment for a new player to get injured because it stops their integration process. That was a setback for us and for him. He now has to fight his way back, he hasn't been starting recently. Was there any reason behind that? He had some starts also recently against Newcastle last week, for instance. But there are always reasons and sometimes, like I say, the injury means other players coming in and doing well. Then you have to wait for your time to play. Sir Jim Ratcliffe set to complete Manchester United deal during international break, the Manchester United takeover saga appears to be nearing a conclusion as Sir Jim Ratcliffe closes in on a deal to become a minority shareholder at the club. It is nearly 12 months since Reds owners the Glazer family announced their decision to launch a thorough evaluation of strategic alternatives. That led to several interested parties coming forward over a potential takeover or investment in the club. Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani submitted a full takeover bid, thought to be worth around £5 billion, before withdrawing from the race last month. 
That left Ratcliffe as the sole front-runner, with his Ineos group expected to pay in the region of £1.25 billion for a 25% stake in the Old Trafford club, while also acquiring significant control over footballing operations. Now, the Press Association reports that, while there is no firm timetable for the deal to be finalized, an announcement could come as early as next week, with Ineos optimistic it will be done before the Premier League campaign resumes on November 25th after the international break. The deal is expected to lead to a major shakeup of United's football operations. Sir Dave Brailsford, the former performance director of British Cycling, is expected to take on significant influence in his role as Ineos's director of sport. The Manchester Evening News understands that Ratcliffe has been holding virtual meetings with United co-chairman Joel Glazer about potential changes to the club's structure, including possible personnel changes. United Chief Executive Richard Arnold and Football Director John Murto are thought to be at risk. Ineos already owns French League One club Nice and Swiss club Lausanne, as well as the Ineos Grenadiers cycling team and Ineos Britannia, the sailing team led by Sir Ben Ainsley. They also have a stake in Formula One team Mercedes, whose team principal Toto Wolff last week said he would also consider investing in United once Ratcliffe's deal is completed. The transfer window will soon close and although United got their hands on three players well in advance of the September 1st deadline, with Rasmus Hodgland joining Mason Mount and Andre Onana at Old Trafford, activity has stalled since Hodgland's announcement. A goalkeeper, a midfielder and a striker were Eric Ten Hag's priorities heading into the summer window, but injuries early on in the season mean United are in need of further reinforcements. Manchester United players questioning Eric Ten Hag's decision to pick Johnny Evans over Rafael Verani. Manchester United players are said to be questioning Eric Ten Hag over his decision to start Johnny Evans over Rafael Verani in Wednesday's loss against Copenhagen. United slipped to their ninth defeat in 17 games so far this season, with the Dutch manager failing to deal with a host of injuries and exiled players. Ten Hag may have thought he had eased some of the pressure with a last gasp 1-0 win against Fulham last weekend, but any brief reprieve was halted after their 4-3 defeat to Copenhagen in the Champions League. Having gone two goals ahead after a brace from Rasmus Hodgland, United found themselves on the back foot after Marcus Rashford's red cards. They were level at the break end, despite edging ahead courtesy of Bruno Fernandez's penalty, eventually succumbed to a 4-3 defeat after two late goals from the Danish side. And now, it has emerged that several players in the squad were left unhappy with some of the team selections, according to a report, in particular, the decision to start 35-year-old Evans instead of four-time Champions League winner Verony in central defense has raised eyebrows. Verony was ultimately introduced after just 15 minutes when the Northern Irishman went down with injury but struggled alongside Harry Maguire for the rest of the game. In addition, the late decision to bring on Mason Mount for Hodgland up front, which attracted criticism from commentator Robbie Savage, caught players by surprise too. The dressing room is still said to be in favor of the 53-year-old continuing, and there is no indication from the club that his job is under threat.